In this video, we'll see how to place the DX Pivot widget from the PhoneJS library onto a web page. The widget tabs are placed horizontally next to each other and navigated by flicking or panning to the left or to the right, or by choosing the required pivot header. In this video, I'll show how to configure this widget. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Knockout, Globalize, and PhoneJS. I've also referenced PhoneJS styles for each platform so that our application looks native on any platform. To demonstrate how it looks on any device, I've enabled the Ripple emulator. Like any widget from the PhoneJS library, the DX Pivot widget can be added using either the jQuery, Knockout, or AngularJS approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach. First, we need to add the DX Pivot widget to a page and set up a data source for it. I'll insert an array of objects representing groups to be displayed in Pivot tabs. Let's assign this array to the widget's data source configuration option, and that's it. Let's see how this pivot looks with the specified data. As you can see, each pane shows the title and text field values from our data source. Now, let's add contact data sets to each tab. I'll use another array of objects that contain contact details. Now I'm going to define the items field for each data source item. To define the pivot's first item data, I'll create a new instance of the DevExpress data source object. It will show all data. I want to filter data in the other pivot item by a category. So I'll specify the filter option for each item. Now let's show contacts in the pivot container. To do this, define a custom template for the pivot items. I'll add the DX list widget and set its data source to the items field of the pivot items data source. Then, I'll define a template for each list item. I'll show a contact name, contact phone, and contact email for each list item. And that's it. Let's see what our pivot looks like now. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress. Mm -hmm.